This was the scene outside Brutal Strand in the aftermath of a brutal attack which resulted in murder. Christopher Malloy, 55, was the subject of a vicious assault on the night of July 12th, 2022 by three assailants. Two men and a 15-year-old boy were today sentenced at Liverpool Crown Court after beating Christopher Malloy, a security guard, to death. Jay and Joseph Byrne admitted the manslaughter of Mr Malloy but were cleared of murder back in January. A 15-year-old boy, who cannot be named for legal reasons, was unanimously found guilty of murdering the 55-year-old. All three were sentenced today. On the night of the murder, Mr Malloy, who died in hospital a week after being attacked near Bootle Strand, was involved in an altercation near to Burger King at around 12.45am. Violence erupted after Mr Malloy was accused of quote, touching the teenage defendant's girlfriend. Jay Byrne of Leyland Road in Southport was said to have either punched or pushed the stranger who then fled to the McDonald's offices and sought assistance from staff because he was concerned as to what was happening. The victim remained in the doorway of the fast food branch for several minutes before walking away. It was at this point he was chased by 25-year-old Joseph Byrne of Lineker Road in Liddelland and the then 14-year-old. A second confrontation near to the junction of Stanley Road and Stram Road was captured on CCTV which was played to the court. It showed the younger Byrne brother Joseph, quote, landing an extremely forceful punch with his right hand, knocking Mr Malloy to the floor. He fell backwards and cracked his head on the pavement, rendering him unconscious. The juvenile was then seen repeatedly slapping him in the face a total of eight times as he lay helpless on the floor. Both attackers walked away in the direction of the NatWest Bank, being caught on camera fist bumping as they did so. The boy returned shortly afterwards alongside 26-year-old Jay Byrne, who kicked a still unconscious Mr Malloy to the head. The youth then delivered a second kick to the head, described as a, quote, particularly ferocious kick, like kicking a football hard. In the aftermath, a patrolling police car was flagged down by a taxi driver who reported that there was a man lying unconscious in the road. Mr Malloy was rushed to the Walton Centre where he underwent emergency surgery. He had suffered internal bleeding and fractures and his life support was ultimately withdrawn. He died on July 19th, a week after the assault. Joseph Byrne and his older sibling Jay Byrne previously pleaded guilty to the manslaughter of Christopher Malloy, with both cleared of murder after the trial. During the sentencing, Judge Fluitt was forced to pause proceedings as both brothers laughed and grinned. For the manslaughter of Mr Malloy, Joseph Byrne was given a custodial sentence of nine years and nine months, plus an extended licence of four years to be served consecutively. He was also sentenced for two separate incidents unrelated to this case. For inflicting grievous bodily harm against John McLaughlin, Joseph Byrne was given an 18-month sentence and for inflicting actual bodily harm against Kelsey Freeman, he received a consecutive sentence of 27 months imprisonment. For the manslaughter of Christopher Malloy, Jay Byrne was sentenced to 10 and a half years imprisonment. The teenager who was unanimously convicted of murder by the jury months prior was sentenced to serve an eight-year minimum term of his life sentence.